Hi there, my name is Sean Macbeth and I'm working on some virtual reality software development. I have the Windows uh, Mixed Reality display here from Hewlett Packard and um, you can see that it looks a little weird because I've, I've taped my headphones to it so that the wires aren't dangling all around everywhere. And then here I have a Leap Motion device that I've attached to the front. Um, and so I'm just get, just getting everything set up. Um, you know, this process is a little little janky, but uh, we'll see how everything works out. So we have the app here, and I just have some some balls here. Um, and yeah, I mean if you've seen the Leap Motion before, you've seen this sort of stuff before. Uh, the the view is really rather kind of jerky. Um, there's a lot of difficulties. I've had a lot of difficulties getting a good build together um, with the Leap Motion and Windows Mixed Reality at the same time. Uh, so, the Leap Motion is, you know, they they offer libraries that are really designed for Unity 5.6. And in order to build software for this headset, you need to be using Unity 2017.2 beta. So that's kind of nuts. Um, this is the Orion build. It's okay. It's not that great. I wasn't able to get the interaction engine to build. I was able to run it in the... I was able to run it in the... Um, editor but I couldn't get it to work I couldn't get anything to work to be able to make a standalone build so I don't really know what's going on there yet I've tried a bunch of different settings but I, don't, I get some compatibility issues so I'm not really sure why in the editor everything works fine um, but in the in the thing it doesn't so to, to, to try to to try to compile it make a standalone copy. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I've done is instead of instead of trying to use the interaction engine um, I have just regular updates happening and I uh, have colliders that automatically get positioned on the tips and all the joints of the fingers and then there's one in the palm of the hand so you can do things like smack them around. I mean, yeah, like I said, if you've done Leap Motion stuff before, if you've seen Leap Motion before, this is nothing new. Um, what I have done here is, you can see that my my uh, device is mounted at a little bit of an angle, and that's actually to uh, to bring the interaction space down to what I think is a, a usable space. Um, with it original, with the original setup, you know, Leap wants you to to set it up here in the middle, and uh, I think that just I think that just provides too much of a space up here that is, is kind of wasted space. You can see that I'm not tracking here, I'm not tracking until I get to about here. That's roughly eye level. So I'm a little bit off, I could be just a little bit higher, but for the most part I want to be able to do things here directly in front of me, um, you know, from my chest level out. So that works really well. Um, I did also have to uh, make some measurements. I had to measure what this offset was from my, from basically from my face to out, out to the device, and then from the center down. Um, and then I also had to change a, a rotation to get it tilted down uh, so that uh, the, the, everything lines up where it should. And if I peek out just past my nose, I've got it pretty good. Like, it, it, it looks like my hands. It, it's pretty good. Um, but that took a lot of tweaking. Uh, you know, and, and it doesn't work with everything. Like, it doesn't work with Leap Motion's augmented reality pass-through camera with, with this thing. So, that's not fun. Um, So that's about it. Uh, I think I'll just stop here now. Um, let me know if you have any questions.